to Sydney as you look at Brian Valoria. One of the bright hopes for a gold medal for the United States in the light flyweight division as he goes up against Brahim Aslum of France. This past Sunday in Valoria's first round bout, he drew a very difficult opponent, did not have an easy time defeating the European champion Sergei Kasakov of Russia, 8-6. Valoria building a 6-1 lead after two rounds and then held on. Teddy admits that, as you suggested, he was not busy enough in that last round. And he's looking to make amends here. And part of that being busy will have to come in the form of a jab. Not looking for the one-shot deal. Valoria in the blue. Aslum of France in the red. You mentioned earlier also he may be trying a bit too hard to live up to his nickname of the Hawaiian Punch. You have to be careful of that. Sometimes that does happen. And you get caught up in that. You get away from your game plan. But it looks like tonight he's been fine-tuned a little bit. He's already doubled up on his left hook. One of his, one of his favorite punches. You can see he's come here, Valoria, tonight looking to be a combination puncher. Brian Valoria, 19 years old, out of Honolulu, Hawaii. The reigning light flyweight amateur world champion. Very quick, and as you can see, does have punching power. One of Valoria's main stays of defense is to come up, but sometimes he doesn't move his head, and he can get caught with an uppercut like he just did. And got caught with the right hand. The Frenchman, as Loom, has deceivingly quick hands. It's great to come up like Valoria does, Ma Mark, but you must also move your head, because if you don't move your head, somebody comes up the middle with the uppercut, you're laying in the middle, you're going to get caught. Also, if someone puts punches together on you, and you only cover up, sooner or later they're going to get spilled. And they can keep your handcuffed. The freshman, Brahim Aslum, very impressive in his first round bout, advancing with a 12-3 victory over the Egyptian opponent. Israel Acosta, one of the assistant coaches, telling him the right advice. After you punch, don't stand there. Get out of the way. Here is what we were talking about. There's the uppercut scoring on Valoria because Valoria covered up real good against Aslum, the Frenchman. But he did not move his head. And the Frenchman was smart. He finished with an uppercut right up the pipe. This is round two, scoring at one apiece. Brian Valoria of the United States out of Honolulu in the blue. Brahim Aslum of France in the red. Strong body blow, but did not score, according to the judges. The two lines of defense that Valoria uses, one is offense to keep the guy defensive, and the other to cover, to block. But again, when you move your head, you make you make your opponent miss. He's not apt to stay in there and throw three or four because now he has to worry about something coming back. But when you're only blocking, a lot of times you invite your opponent to put punches together, like Valoria just did against Aslum. And a caution against Aslum for a slap. Those punches went wide and, and high, not getting credit. And those catching Valoria wide on the arm. I tell you, these are tough judges, though, in this bout. And both these men cover real well. And it's hard to score. Valoria covers well, as Bloom covers well. A second ago, I thought Valoria scored with a left hook. And the way he did it was he laid inside, laid in the pocket, and waited for as Bloom to start to punch. And Valoria timed him with the left hook. You have to be creative to get through these defenses. And a scoring blow constitutes making contact with the white 
portion of the glove from the head right down to the waist as Aslum just did but you don't receive points for punches that land on the arms you may be hearing the impact may look good as you just saw but that is not a scoring blow the, the two scoring blows scored by Aslum have been by uppercut he found a home for that and Valoria has given him a home for that you can catch Valoria with uppercut Go punch the body and then bring it up. You freeze Valoria. Valoria is so busy blocking your punches that sometimes if you come off of the punch to the body and bring it up the middle, you will catch Valoria staying right in the center. The uppercut can be very effective, and it has been for Aslum. Here comes that uppercut. That time it was short by Aslu. Inside quarters. There's the uppercut right there that we were talking about. Aslu threw to the body and then brought it up. And remember, sometimes you're going to watch your energy for the full round. Okay? If you shoot a lot of punch, you're just going to connect to the punch. The first voice you heard leaning over head coach Tom Mustin and then Israel Acosta talking about saving the energy. Gloria said after his opening round victory, he's the type of boxer who gets better as the week goes on, responding to the fact that he petered.